Welcome to uh, Basic Java for Beginners Part 5, Conditionals. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to basically make the code do different things depending on a certain value. So we can compare values to each other. If one's greater than or less than or something equals something, we can do uh, or make a different decision in our code. Uh, you may also hear this called branching. Um, so for example, I'm going to start out with a question. So does three equal three? And I'm just using system.out.println or println, depending on how you want to say it. And that just prints out. So all of our code so far, except the last couple lines of the last video, um, basically it, op it executes the same way every single time. So what I want to do is I want to try this. So if, I'm going to use if, uh, it's called if, else, if, or else. Uh, let's say if three, equals three. Now notice I've got two equal signs, not just one. Okay. Uh, so when we're assigning a value like x equals five, it's one equal sign. But when we're comparing values, we use two equal signs. So I'm going to put in here, I'm going to say true. Oops. Now I'm going to make that no quotation marks because true is a built in Boolean value. So let's run that and see what happens. So true, because does three equal three? True. Okay, so if I put the mouse over that, it says comparing identical expressions. This will always be true. That's why the compiler is flagging that. Now I could have put something here, say yes, three does equal three. And we'll get exclamation points because we're very excited about that fact. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so that is our first example of an if statement, a conditional if statement. Um, so now I'm going to print a blank line. And now I'm going to use some variables. I'm going to say int x, int x equals 3. I'm going to say int y equals 2. Again, note I've got one equal sign because I'm assigning a value. Here I've got two equal signs because I'm comparing values. So then what I can do here is I can use string format again. And print is percent s greater than percent s question mark and then comma x comma y. Now no, we haven't seen this before, but notice I've got one percent s, I've got two percent s's. So that's why I've got comma x comma y. So the x will go into the first one and the y will go into the second one because that's the order. And so then my code is going to be like this. If x is greater than y, I'm using a couple braces there. I'm going to say system print out, print line, system dot out dot print line, true. Now if it's not true, then it must be, we use else. So if it's not true, it must be else. Say system dot out dot print line, false. I'm going to hit run. And wait a second while well, it does its thing. So is three greater than two? True. Now I could have put here yes, if that makes more sense for you. But it's good to have it to get in, into to use the Booleans. Uh, also, they take up less memory. So is x greater than y? In this case, is three greater than two? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, what I can do is I can copy this. But I have to make one little change, as you'll see in a second. I'll run it and show you what's going to happen and why. Um, so you can see here I've already got the red lines. It says duplicate local variable x. Okay, so because I've already declared it up here, I can't declare it again here. But I can change the value. So I put that 2 and 3. So note that's the difference between those two things. So y, duplicate local variable y. I guess it hasn't figured that one out yet. So let's try that again. And there we go. So is three greater than two? Yes. Is two greater than three? No. Okay, so you can see how this lets us change what the program does based on the values of some variable. Now, this will work with numbers, okay? Um, but if we're working with strings, it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, so what I'm gonna do instead here. Actually, I'm just gonna. Actually, I'm just gonna start over. I'm gonna undo that, 
And what I'm going to try here is I'm going to say string. Actually, I'll do system out print lint. That's what I want to do. Sorry. I just want this. So I'm going to copy that again. So let's say you're doing a rock, paper, scissors type game. So I could do string player A equals rock. I can do string player B equals scissors. So now with strings, I can't use equal signs. Uh, there's a long, long story about why. Um, suffice to say, we can't do that. So I'm going to try if player A dot equals rock. Okay. And I say, I try two vertical lines. That is or player B dot equals rock. I'm going to say, quote, someone chose rock. Okay, so you see here what this is asking. I'll actually move this over so it's a little bit format what we're used to. So if player A equals rock, because it's a string, I have to use dot equals. So if player A equals rock or player B equals rock, which it doesn't, it'll say someone chose rock. We don't know who. Let's test that. Okay, someone chose rock. Now, it's not very useful for rock, paper, scissors. Um, but what we can do with rock, paper, scissors is say if player A equals rock and that's two ampersands, player B dot equals scissors. Yeah, I think I have an extra parenthesis there. Equals, ah, I missed one. That's why. Boop. Then I'm going to say system.out.println player A wins. Okay, so we've got player A is rock, player B is scissors. So if player A equals rock, yes it does. And player B equals scissors, yes it does. Player A wins. Let's take a look at that. And player A wins. So this is basically how you would build up a rock, paper, scissors game. Now rock, paper, scissors, there are nine possibilities. So rock, paper, scissors for the player A, rock, paper, scissors for player B. Um, there's uh, one way to win, one way to lose, and one way to tie for each one. So there's actually nine possibilities. Now we can shorten the code and we'll probably get to that at some point if you take my course. Um, so yeah, that is basically how if statements work. Um, you can do a lot more with these, but this will hopefully get you started. Thanks for watching.